check out our book on mental focus and the simple tennis series on Amazon. We're going to do the zones again, but we're going to do it from the ad side. But remember, one to one, three to three. From zone two, you hit go zone one or three. You always avoid the middle. Ideally, zone two and three, you're hitting four hands. The better you are, the bigger zone two is. And we'll talk about that later. Here's our standard return. He's going to either go cross court or down the line. Down the lines are bad because they open up cross court. And you have to shift to cover your court. So you probably go cross court to me. And what you want to try to do is you want to, whenever someone serves your backhand, you want to hit the ball cross court to their backhand, assuming their backhand is as good as your backhand. So every down the line gets a cross court. That's a very important rule. I like simple rules like this because when you players hit a down the line, you tell them hit a cross court because it makes sense. When they go loop like this to you, you got to try to do your best to get the ball back deep. This is a great neutralizer, a high looping backhand. Even in the middle of the court, it's a tough shot because it goes my backhand. Pulls me cross. When you're in trouble, depth is a key. Push the ball deep because look what happens after I hit the ball deep. What do I do? Defense is always going to be the key. I block, I push it down the line, but I hit deep. Whenever you hit the down the line, you have to shift to go to the other side of the court to protect the cross court. Safe to hit cross court because they're in position for next ball. If you hit down the line, change direction, high part of the net, you must cross to the other side of the court. If you have a shift, look at my shift. Before the ball bounces, I am going to stop and get ready for the next shot. This is important. This neutralizes the point. I still have a shot to cross court. If my point hits a sharp cross court, I'm in trouble. But the odds are when you run across the court, you're not going to hit that shot. He goes back to me and look what I do to him. Every down the line gets a cross court that we said before. This is a very important thing. My mantra, every down line gets a cross court. Something you can cite, recite over and over to people. Because he goes back to me, I go cross court, he ends up one, two, three, right? Where is he end up, where does my opponent end up? I take two steps and watch where he ends up after I hit the backhand. Because now what has happened, because he's gone down the line, he has to cover the cross court. But when I hit this sharp cross, not really a sharp cross, but it's a hard struck ball, he takes four steps. Doesn't seem like much, but whenever you make your opponent move, four steps to a ball is a tough, a tough shot. People might argue about stuff like this, but it's basic. You make someone move to a ball, the shot won't be as strong. When you go wide to a ball, it's very difficult to get body weight back into the court, so the shot lacks power. Moving to his left, hits a shot to me, and what do I end up getting? I get a short ball. This is what you want to try to happen. It all happened because it's in the center zone too, but it happens because I hit the down line, I hit a cross court. Every time you get down the line, you hit cross court, you make your opponent run. When they run, you should get a short ball. I get a short ball, and what will I do? I get a forehand in the middle of the court. I can go back to the backhand, I can go forehand cross. The forehand cross is dangerous because you're going to do the forehand. The green light on the backhand is good, but you should also temper it by where he is. He's on that side, so going back to him would be contrary to making them move. But the idea of the magic triangle, is any ball in that magic triangle, you come to net. Why? Well, if you hit this ball in the triangle and you try to retreat, you probably won't make it back. Any ball in the service box is easy to come to net. But the, tri the triangle really extends to the middle of the court. If you have a short ball in the middle of the court, behind no man's land, inside no man's land, you should hit that ball and come to net because it's easier to hit that ball, come to net, maintain offense, then to hit the ball and run back. So ideally, whenever the ball lands in the magic triangle, you go to net. I took the opportunity and I just hit really hard and I was trying to go cross court because I wanted to make my opponent run. My opponent's quite good when he's stationary. So going back to him and he's stationary, he'll have to sit up, he'll hit a good shot, making him run. But I kind of shank it and I go right down the middle, but I hit with a lot of spin. And my opponent was expecting that. So I draw the error. But the key was magic triangle, body weight coming forward, 
approach shot, I attack it, come in the net. So what have we talked about so far? On the add side, the backhand return should be cross court deep to zone one. Down the line gets a cross court and the ball and the triangle attack the net. I like these things because we're trying to build the system and I'm trying to help you learn how to play various singles by having quantifiable, measurable tactics that you can do based on any shot. You temper the shots with your shot sequence, what you can do. But every basic, backhand, go back cross court on the return. Down the line, get to cross court, ball in the triangle, attack the net. I don't care if the middle or wide. But we'll talk about that later. This is basically a reverse of what we just did. And just to remind you, this is the ideal return. Goes to my middle shot, I go to his backhand. So when he serves to me down the middle, it's like in zone two, I go to zone one. Classic. I do this all the time on the forehand. On the backhand, I go one, one on the return. I do it all the time, so I very rarely miss this sequence because I do it all the time. Also, it's part of my doubles game. Simple block, push the ball deep, and I hit it short. And it opens up a short angle. Whenever you push your point into the doubles alley, you're in a good position. But now I hit a short ball to the nice triangle. He hit a solid backhand cross. I tried to pull it cross. I didn't get it. I could have gone line, but the line shot's really tough. It's hard to hit that line shot clean. I would have pulled it a little bit on my backhand cross. So now what's he going to do? What shot will he hit to me? Down the line would be really tough. Look at his shoulders. See, his shoulders are pointing to me. So whenever someone's about to approach the net, look for little things. Where's his shoulders? They're pointing to me. They're probably going to come back to me. I'm anticipating him going back to my backhand. And he does. I hear rolling cross. Well, some people argue about this. Do you want to hit the rolling cross? I could have gone down the line. I could have gone cross court. Lob is out of the question. He's at the service line. Don't lob in the first shot. The first shot should always be a pass. Make him come to the ball, hit the volley, come in. They're coming in, they're not back, they're not in the box, you can't lob. So what are you gonna do? Down the line or cross? This is really a sequence where it depends what you can do. The down the line looks open, but it's a sharp cross. I don't have a good down the line backhand. So it's better for me to play within the angle, go cross court. I don't change the angle on the ball. And because he's only at the service line, I'm going low. So it's a double shot. I'm basically hitting a double shot. I'm just hitting the ball low. I know he's probably gonna hit the volley, but I'm not gonna be able to pass and clean. He has position on me. I make impact and my whole idea is get the ball low. On the passing shot, keep even tempo. Don't rush it. I didn't rush it. I take a simple shot. I've really controlled the racket. My body's a little bit eh, helter-skelter, but I'm in control of the racket. I'm just gonna get the ball low. Don't change an angle, get the ball low. Down the line, we're going right to his forehand. I don't think he likes his backhand volley, so I go to his backhand. All these little things, it's kind of hard to think about when you're playing a match. But these, this is what's going to have to happen when you go to the next level. Classic point. Don't change the angle. Low. These are the rules we talked about today. What you want to do is you want to, on the ad side, hit your backhand return, cross court. Why? You maintain the zones, zone one to one. If they go to the middle, which is kind of a zone two shot, you have the forehand, you hit the zone one, going back to the backhand. If they go in the course of the point, you get down the line shot, you hit ball cross court. If the ball lands in the triangle, you have to attack the net, so go into the net. I know, I know, I'm not good at volleys. Well, if you hit good transition shot, you don't have to volley. Finally, when they do come to net, passing shots are normally down the line. However, is it better for you to hit cross court? Hit the cross court. If it's within the angle, hit the cross court, but get the ball low. Keep the even tempo. Don't rush the shot. Too often, people just miss the passing shot into the net wide. Don't do that. Get the ball by him. They might hit it the out ball. Okay? Do not lob until they're at the net. They're coming in, you don't want to lob. Also, when they're coming in, you don't slice pass. A slice shot is a very slow shot. However, in seniors, it's quite accurate to hit slice passing shots. I mean, if you're accurate and the guy is slow at net, 
a slice pass is good because the other thing with the slice, the record goes up, it looks like a lob. So if you're used to hitting slices and you can hit the ball low and away, and you can also mix it up with a lob, I, you can hit a passing shot with a slice. If you're a junior player, you gotta hit it. Juniors are too fast. They're gonna, they're gonna get to the ball. So remember the rules. Add side, backhand return, cross court, forehand return, cross court to the backhand. Down the line, get to cross court, ball in a triangle, you attack the net because if you hit the ball, you come back, it's a weak positioning. Passing shots are normally down the line, keep the even tempo, you make sure to hit a volley before you hit the lob, and finally, no slice passing shots. All in all, I hope you had a good day.